Hello and welcome back to Persona 5, not Royal, with me, Matthew Caddy, Sergio Puggy. So, um, um, we are going through Futaba's palace in the, um, in today's look at uh, the game. And indeed, my favourite palace in the original game, I've already said that. And indeed, the main things I am going to look at in um, this part are mostly the puzzles and the, the the main boss fight against the cognitive Wakaba. So, that being said, um, the main puzzles I will look at are, well, firstly, the globe puzzle, obviously, the which was the most taxing puzzle in the original uh, Persona 5. If you remember back to uh, my um, Royal Let's Play, um, you would realize that I... Um, that one half of the uh, spheres that I use unlocked a um, will seed. That is not the case, of course, in the original version, because here in the original version, it kind of um, is necessary to do both sides. In Royal, it isn't. So yeah, I was going to, um, I was actually going to cut it there, but yeah. And there are two tablets you have to find. Not so much in this one, so let's indeed go up here, uh, which, uh, yeah, I don't know if this structure... Okay, this plank was definitely here in Royal. I do remember that, because I've just been through. Um, um, there I say, um, Futaba's Palace. As I say, this is my favorite palace in the original. There is one palace in... Um, in Persona 5 Royal, which we will get towards the end of the game, that kind of trumps it. And I am not going to say any more than that, because it's a major spoiler. So yes, yeah, so, um, like before, um, we will have two things, except here as a B here. That B means blue, the color blue. So indeed, um, yeah. And that is the, kind of the solution to the thing. So, so the solution is to do the same um, with the binary uh, globes and everything. So yeah. Um, also, it's weird going to <laughs> vanilla Persona 5 from the uh, thing. Likewise with before, by pressing the thing, the um, uh, tablet, we will activate said thing. Now, when I recorded this, I did not know that the thing was blue because it's only like a faint shade of blue. When I, when I see it now on my um, um, video file and everything, it really does show up to be a blue one, seriously. But on my um, TV, not so much. And it's not like in the HD TV. I mean, you kind of need to to play a PS4 uh, game. Seriously, this one, this is the PS4 version, not the PS3 version. I don't think I'm really want to play the PS3 version given the outputting to HD is from my end of the, of the thing not that great so yeah um, if you want to go back um, you can do so so yeah um, so likewise with before you have to turn off each of the things and uh, pressing each of the tablets it turns it on again but therein lies the solution to the first one at least so yeah, so what happens when we have activated all of them then? Let's see. Well, actually what we have to do is go over to this switch which is right next to this stone slab. Seriously. And that will open the door on the left hand side. Yeah. This was not necessary in Royal but it damn well is in, um, in Vanilla Persona 5. So yeah. And... Indeed, I say about. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Obviously, um, because I was short on money, I spent a lot of it trying to get healing items and perhaps any other he uh, stuff I would need to, because um, of course confidants are not that great, uh, are not as great to um, uh, grind up in vanilla Persona Five. It's a lot harder to do so. But, um, unless you get a new game plus, of course, so yeah, uh, but yeah, and that also, I, um, another thing, because you saw there, I went up to try to get to that treasure chest there, yeah, 
because of Mona's insistence on us going to sleep, it also means that we um, have the problem of, um, well, pretty much trying to um, do that. Don't get me started on the um, thing. I suppose the show me the money do did help, to be fair. We can get to the point of, um, with Shahaya's um, whole um, social link either. I mean, with hers, I've already said in the main Let's Play that you can get um, rewards from her by doing various readings and everything. And that is the case in Vanilla's Persona 5 as well. Seriously, that is not a problem here. Um, so yeah. Um, the problem is the time, of course. You're given much less time, of course. Again, the amount of time to improve your stats is also the same. But, of course, Mona's insistence on you sleeping, of, of course. So, yeah, that is a problem here in Vanilla Persona 5 if you're playing this game for the first time, like I was here. So, the other thing that we are looking out for here is another sort of slab. Seriously, and it's right be here between the two sarcophagi here, seriously. So, yeah, we do have to touch it, because... God knows how many Tomb Raider games I've played. Okay, so yeah, this this one is similar. As I said, this is necessary to get those giant balls rolling much further back. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I, I swear this puzzle was made a lot easier in um, Royal. That being said, it, um, it, the... Uh, red segment with the uh, red um, globes is kind of put to good use at least with getting the um, um, the, I don't think, well, it was the second will seed uh, so um, it isn't completely put to waste though it is a lot more uh, challenging shall we say in vanilla persona 5 perhaps um that was fine. I mean, yeah. You can also reset reset the um, puzzle by going back to that um, stone slab and doing so. So that can be a thing as well. So yeah, so basically from there, all you have to do is put in each of the things. Also, I should have paid more attention to the actual coffin there. Seriously, it's colored blue. What an idiot I am. One of the big puzzles in um, Persona 5 is, of course, the hieroglyph puzzles. Seriously. Um, likewise, with re before, you have to redirect the light towards it. And that is, of course, done by examining the murals, firing crossbows into the wall, and moving that. So, yeah. Of course, unlike with um, um, Royal... Yeah. These are done slightly differently. I don't know if that's the case because two different parts of this puzzle where you see Wakaba getting hit by the car. Yeah, this is done slightly differently. I don't think you can flip them either, which I don't know if you can. Can you flip? Oh no, you can flip them. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I wanted to look at the bottom of the screen just to check. But yeah, you can. Uh, though apparently they're now connected, which I don't know if they were in Royal, but yeah. And, um, as I say, some of the drama is somewhat lost in the fact that it isn't voiced as well. So, yeah, honestly, going from, um, um, from Royal to this is weird. Going from this to Royal, yeah, um, no problem. But going back to Vanilla Persona 5 from Royal, uh, just to show the differences, yeah, it is weird um, because of that. But there you go. But yeah, the, um, certainly the last puzzle seems to be slightly different. Only in its execution, mind. The um, image is the same. Uh, I'm just that's very sad to see that. Oh boy, yeah. That's also... It, it looks really much harder by comparison as well. And <laughs> Flipping Wakaba upside down. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that either. The cognitive Wakaba? Who did I send to actually operate the thing? Will it be Makoto? Yeah, it is gonna be Makoto. Of course it's gonna be Makoto! 
You want the huge treasures in that thing? Yeah, no. Although I did use um, um, Mona initially. Uh, seriously. As for Cognitive Wackaba, her attacks are mostly the same. She uses her wind move to knock you back and make you dizzy. I swear though, she do she does seem to be doing a lot more uh, damage as well. Her uh, wind blast, yeah. I got dizzy more times in this game than the thing. And she does seem to do a one more, which she... Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did not do, seem to do that. And what footage I did use in the um, original game. Uh, not in the original, in Royal, sorry. This is the original game. Um, well, yeah. And let, let's see, do I have any... Uh, I actually prioritize healing over um, revival, which is the norm for me, really. I only have like two bombs of life, um, so yeah, I, just, I, I don't know how many revivings I have either, which, honestly, <laughs> Cognitive Waka, but in, um, for me at least, in Vanilla Persona 5 is a freaking murderous beast, um, I hope you get that thing not, oh, that wasn't as, uh, damaging as it was in uh, Royal series I then again, and I, I did have this on like um, uh, thing this does not vote well for me thing and I don't have that many healing items either due to the fact that I did not use any um, things I also took a lot more breaks from the palaces in uh, in there is even another persona 5 which I don't know if I went over this or not, and I'm using all of my bombs of life, which, honestly, <laughs> yeah, not good against someone like the Cognitive Wakaba here. But yeah, I did want to show this boss off, of course. The narrative is mostly the same, except for um, some loss of some um, voice scenes, but that's a given. Uh, the whole, um, most of the... Um, um, tr uh, beach trip is, with the ex I think, with the possible exception of when uh, uh, the girls are, when the girls leave to go on the banana boat, and uh, and um, when um, Futaba actually speaks about her mother's research. Yeah. Um, although having said that, here in um, uh, when you're with Persona 5, I am getting the chance to do a lot more damage to Wakaba than I am in um, Royal, so I will give it that, I will give it that. The problem is, I don't have the ability to restore my SP that easily because of um, the aforementioned problem with the thing. And yes, and another thing I will give P Vanilla Persona 5 over Royal here. Um, Futaba's Persona Necronomicon is actually spawning multiple ballistas. I did kind of say this in Royal. This, that did not happen in my, certainly in my uh, run on uh, Persona 5 Royal. But yeah, this boss was made a bit more challenging, therefore. Hell, given that um, the previous boss, Kaneshiro, went straight into his Pigitron phase and gets a whole new phase as well. Yeah, and, and also Madarami. I'm sure, and also, uh, think, wait until we get to um, the next palace, which is my least favorite palace in, the, in both games. Both versions of the game, seriously. Um, I'll get to that uh, when I get to it. Seriously. Murderous beastie indeed. In fact, there does seem to be a lot more, um... Then again, she's kicking my ass, so... Uh, that's a given, I think. As for how, um... Joker defeats her cognitive Wakaba, pretty much in the same way. Shoots her, and she falls right off the gigantic, uh, cliff. Seemingly to a supposed death. I don't know how um, um, cognitive beasts that are based on, well, the cognition of the uh, ruler of said palace would work, given that. It's a step uh, but, yeah. Also, another thing of note because of my thing, uh, counting it is not William, um, 
of course, by this point, Carmen was Hecate. And I'm not sure, did... No, no, I, I have not yet, um, in Royal, um, managed to get um, the second form for either Yusuke's or uh, Makoto's personas just yet. So, yeah. So, on the next one, I will look at the next palace, obviously. But I'm going to return to Royal, where we actually prepare for the trip to Hawaii. So, I will see you then. Goodbye! <laughs>